Beep. All right, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Movie Talks and Chill. We are your hosts. I'm Tony Serrano. I'm Gavin Butts. I'm Patrick Wall. And in this episode, Mr. Gavin, I'm going to turn it to you to tell us what we're talking so about. So we're talking about biblical slash religious movies. Yeah. Not so much like following the religion, but the kind of lore behind it. So know? we're not we're not going with like Kirk Cameron made for TV religious movies. Left Behind. Yeah. yeah. Left Behind yeah. 2 and Left Behind 3. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to leave those behind. <laughs> <laughs> but more of, you know, like angels and demons and, you know, following... Good versus uh, evil. Good versus evil, basically, yeah. But it yeah. has like that... The devil or a demon kind of right, <laughs> right, and I mean you know it kind of, it could also did like a good versus evil episode. It could also yeah. lead us into you know focused. a little more of Halloween as you know the Salem witch trials, which I'm going on my first vacation in two weeks in a couple of days, and I will be in Salem, Massachusetts on Friday the 13th in October. Yeah, I can't wait yeah. to see the color of any of your pants when you come back. Yeah, <laughs> my friends. If are, he comes back, if he dude, comes back, my friends that live in Massachusetts are so pissed that I'm making them do this because it's just going to be a giant shit show. Everybody who lives in Massachusetts just stays away in October from that town. It's like, yep. bro, we're going. <laughs> he's, he's going to Salem on October, on Friday the 13th in October. And he's going to a witch house, and he just watched Haunted Mansion. Yep. yep. Yeah, I'm going to the witch museum. I'm doing everything. But it's he good. won't go see The Exorcist. No. Hell fucking no. <laughs> he's going. Not going. He's going to need one when he gets back, but he's not going to go see the movie. <laughs> Speaking of religious movies, I will need a priest to exercise. <laughs> but um, just to get... Gavin, why don't you start us off and just give like what we're really talking about. Sure. So uh, yeah. my... <coughs> excuse me there. <coughs> Sorry, Tony. Uh, my favorite one is Legion. And uh, it's a really cool story that's about this angel that, well, essentially God has given up on humanity. And he's... I mean, rightfully so. We suck. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Um, So he's basically just going to wipe out uh, all of mankind. But the the one that's that's supposed to be, I guess, like the savior is a a girl who's pregnant. And she's carrying a baby that's going to eventually lead humanity back out of you know the darkness that that it's that it's supposed to be in is this the phantom menace all over again? kind of yes <laughs> kind of. the chosen the one the midi <laughs> so uh so uh, angel uh michael has been given uh the order to come to he's supposed to go to earth and he is supposed to be the one that carries out the order to kill the child <laughs> before he's even born <clears throat> so um so he he refuses the order. He ends up coming down and and becoming human and protecting the child and fighting off. Now it's not like your classic thing of, <laughs> of you know angels and demons. The angels end up coming down and possessing people, but they turn. It, it, it's like they turn the people evil. Yeah. And it's more. It's not so much that the angels themselves are evil, but when they you know when the supernatural possesses mm. a, a human, it distorts their body. It doesn't mm. matter what you know if it's good <laughs> or bad. They're not supposed to be in someone's body. <laughs> Isn't that the movie with the ice cream truck driver? Like yeah, creepy? And he comes out yeah. and like the freaking mantis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, what's really cool? Well, I don't know if it's really cool about the movie, but um, the the co-star, the the guy who's like in love with the girl and wants to protect her, mm-hmm. that's the guy from Tokyo Drift. Yes, it is. That is the only other movie I've seen that guy in ever. <laughs> I think he's been in some. I'm but sure anyway. he has. But. <laughs> so he was racing cars, and he was, you know, inhabiting fighting, people's bodies and demons. shit. <laughs> and then, you know what? He just made his bank. He's like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I'm good. See you. I could say I was in a Fast and Furious movie, and then I did one other thing. Like, my acting career is done. I don't know. I've peaked at 27. It had I mean, good done. Good for you. Done yeah. with it. Mike Epps in it. Um, uh, Dennis Quaid. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't think of the. I'm trying to remember the, the name of the Michael. angel that comes yeah. down to. Well, there's Michael who gives up his halo and he becomes right. mortal, and then there's the it's other Gabriel. Gabriel. Gabriel but, is the is the one. But, but the guy who the actor who plays Gabriel, he's in like a bunch of things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's kind of he's kind of almost the heel in most things that he plays. Yeah. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Keep looking but it, it was, up. But it was a cool kind of take <clears throat> on it as um, Kevin Durand. <clears throat> It's not Durant, the basketball player. Durand. Durand, it? not Durant. Yes. <laughs> um, just trying it's, to look him up. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, he was in um, X-Men Origins Wolverine. 
Yeah, um, yeah. He was the the. He was uh, like the proto saber tooth. It was called uh, Frank. Yeah. He was the big dude. I stole this shirt from Frank. Yeah. <laughs> Frankie says relax. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, he's just been in a mm. bunch of stuff, and he's yeah, you're right. He's like nine times out of ten, he's the heel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. He was in Resident Evil, nice. and he played a good character. Like the character he was supposed to portray in that movie is good. The problem is that movie itself was very bad. Yeah, it was. Well, kinda, outside of the first one, it's it, kind of crap. Yeah, but he was in um, Resident Evil Afterlife or whatever. Like anything after the first one is just garbage. I like the second one when they're in the city, but that's yeah. eh, that was still kind of a garbage. Stretch. Yeah, it, it was. It was okay, but yeah. they, they mashed like three other video games. Exactly, in one. yeah. They brought out Nemesis. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> moving. I'll tell you that story to tell you this. Yeah, story. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you that story so I can tell you this one. But since it's October, I'm downloading Resident Evil 4 Remake to my PlayStation, and that's what I'm doing later today. <laughs> so, Tony, uh, what's what would be yours? Dogma. Dogma. <laughs> yeah, Dogma. not even a Solid build up to that one. Dogma. <laughs> no, no, that's it. Dogma. Kevin Smith. Dogma. I was the thing. original Loki. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now I'm <laughs> reborn identity. This is my reborn this identity. My reborn. <laughs> <clears throat> no, Dogma, great movie. Um, have you seen it? Yes, I've seen Dogma. Okay, well, you, you make it sound like it's... Yeah, of course I've seen ah, it. Yeah, I've I'm seen Patrick, that. I've seen everything. <laughs> um, <clears throat> hey, I've seen Couples Retreat. Well, for those... Yeah, just Ow. now. <laughs> so, just so everybody knows, Dogma is uh, it's a Kevin Smith take on uh, Catholic Dogma. Mm-hmm. You know, the whole... <clears throat> very biblical if you want to talk about <clears throat> biblical movies and good and evil literally by the book <laughs> yeah and uh you know it's about these basically about these two uh angels that you know were archangels basically or one was you know one was a uh uh what do they actually call them they call them the watchers it, no they weren't watchers but basically one of them was he would tell people be able to tell what a person's sin was and then loki was the god of or basically the angel of wrath he would bring down and make people suffer <clears throat> and so <clears throat> one night in in heaven they got very inebriated <laughs> and he basically refuses god's uh will throws down his fiery sword and god kicks him out mm-hmm. and basically makes him so, uh, spend the rest of eternity in wisconsin <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and so anyway <clears throat> someone sends them a a letter of notice that there's a, a church uh, in Jersey, that's going to be making a papal sanction. So anybody who walks through the archways, all their sins are automatically forgiven. Mm-hmm. So they found a loophole to the Catholic dogma of the theory of God's will is that, <clears throat> you know, you once you've been exiled from heaven, you can't get back in. Mm-hmm. So that's why they were stuck out. But basically they figure if once they, they get to Jersey, they cut off their wings, they become human, they walk through the gates, they are free of all sins, so they're automatically ascended back to heaven, which would make God fallible which is that's not one rule. it would undo like, <clears throat> undo everything yeah. undo existence so anyway so they're trying to figure out this loophole but then you have um uh was it uh asriel or whatever that's uh jason lee's character mm. he's basically a demon that's coming down he's the one kind of giving them the idea because he hates everything he's got little demon minion guys but mm. then there's a girl bethany who's supposed to be charged with uh charged with stopping this by the Metatron, who's Alan Rickman. We mm. talked about that with, when mm-hmm. Haley was on. But the reason why her character <coughs> is so important is because she is genetically linked to Jesus. Yeah, she's like the great, 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 Yeah, like 13 greats, <laughs> like half-sister of yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she's a, she's one of the Twice descendants. Yeah. <laughs> so she's challenged with this task to go in and stop them, but then there's two prophets that are chosen, which is Jay and Silent Bob, mm. who are there to help her. And then the 13th Apostle played um, 13th Apostle like, Chris Rock shows up. He oh, falls yeah. down from the sky. So it's like all this good and evil. And then you have the muse, who's some Hayek, mm-hmm. who's a stripper and a stripper. So, uh, I just like the way that they kill uh, Jason Lee's character with George Carlin's like putter. And they're like, you heard him. Like, I'm a demon, bitch. And you're like, yeah, he, father blah, blah, blah is the type of guy who would bless his clubs to get For a, a better, better game. game. Yeah. <laughs> Cardinal Glick. Yeah. <laughs> And then they make the buddy Christ. That's great. He's like coming up. He's like, we, you know, this nobody wants. To, Jesus wasn't here to give us the willies. He's like, he's here to inspire us. Like, so we're trying to out a couple new things. Like, yeah, now like a giant Jesus. Yeah, just smiling. He's <laughs> like, like popping. He's like, didn't it just pop, buddy Christ? <laughs> <laughs> buddy Christ. <clears throat> so yeah, it's this whole good evil thing. But yeah, the Metatron's there to help Bethany, you know, get through and meet Jane, Silent Bob. You and, know, I like to think my Jesus in, in a tuxedo T-shirt. <laughs> 
Because it says I'm formal, but I'm here to party. Yeah. <laughs> I like to pray to baby Jesus, Chip. And when you do prayer, you can pray to whatever Jesus he you like. He was a man. He had a beard. <laughs> I like the baby version better, Chip. <laughs> So that's, that's mine. Italian Naked Nights is now a biblical movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One two-minute scene. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Dogma. That's mine. What about you? Uh, mine is Constantine. Okay. Uh, the Keanu Reeves movie. I wonder why. See, I, and I was, I, I knew that was going to come up. Oh, did I you did. Now? I did. I did. As I was sending some hints <laughs> yesterday, I was like, if he doesn't pick this one, <laughs> as his top, I know he's seen it. <laughs> I don't even... I don't want to look through my text right now, but I don't think you sent over Constantine. Well, that's fun. The fire alarm in my building is now going off. Yes. So, Do we leave? I don't know. I, uh, I think we have to stop recording for a few minutes and figure out what's going on. Eh, we'll just keep recording. Let it buzz. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, if you smell smoke, we'll, we'll leave. Well, it's, yeah. it's a good thing I don't have a stepped up nose for a cold I had last week. No, there's no fire. Is that, is that gas? It's probably the person cooking onions down your hall. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> so, Constantine. 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 <clears throat> so, if you haven't seen this movie, do I need to talk louder over this thing? Yeah, no. Okay. You're fine. Uh, so, <laughs> we'll take it out in post. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just adds to the ambiance of the show. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's our lightning round. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we need for trivia. <laughs> oh, there goes our lightning round. <laughs> Um, okay, <laughs> you're just going to work through this noise. Yep. Uh, so, uh, Constantine, if you haven't seen it, he plays a supernatural detective, uh, like, P.I. kind of guy. Because when he was a... Every now and again, I think he's going to stop. It just keeps coming back. Um, and, but when he was a kid, um, he tried to kill himself. Mm. So that automatically meant he cannot get into heaven. So when he died and he went to the other side, he realized where he was going... He's doing everything humanly possible to make sure that he can't go. He doesn't go there. So mm. he's killing demons, helping people, exercising everybody, and everybody keeps saying like, "You can do all this work all you want, but you did the one thing that bans you from heaven." And he's like, "That can't be true." And then he, he's smoking like ten packs of cigarettes a day. Mm-hmm. So and when we start the movie, he's got like stage four lung cancer. Yeah. Um, so and he's doing this one final case to see if he could really just get into heaven, and it's helping. Um, Rachel Weiss, I believe it was. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Because her twin sister was mentally <coughs> unstable and killed herself, but then you find out that like there was a demon possession and mm-hmm. like shit's really going down. Like someone has the spear of destiny. Like the world is ending, and uh, Keanu Reeves is like, "Well, I gotta stop this, don't I?" Um, and then and you I, can see him. I think it's funny. Like they have it. Like that they discover it in Mexico because a lot of people believe that the Nazis did actually find it. Yeah. And that it. Is probably in Argentina. Yeah, you know where a lot of them fled. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I would, if the Spear of Destiny does exist, I'm no doubt that Hitler probably found it and just like kept it. No, Indiana Jones found it. <laughs> that was the Ark of the Covenant. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Get your religious <laughs> relics right. <laughs> oh, I know what he found. That I'm saying he found this too. Uh, well, no, well, they just didn't make, make a movie, movie yet. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. They just didn't make a movie yet. No question. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, but no, he keeps... My favorite is the ending. It's um, because he actually does wind up getting into heaven because he makes the ultimate sacrifice of killing himself to save another. Mm. And God's like, you know what? You finally did it. I'm going to let you in. And, but the devil's like, you're not going anywhere. So he heals him. Well, like, it's sticks. funny because he's giving, him, giving the devil the bird as yeah, he's, he's ascending. In, yeah, <laughs> as he's ascending. Yeah, I think he has a lit cigarette in his mouth and he's just like looking back, giving the finger. <laughs> and then he's like, no, I don't think so. He sticks his hand in his chest rips out these like lumps of coal that are supposed to be his lungs and heals him. He's like, you're not going anywhere yet. So it sets up the sequel that is currently being made. Mm-hmm. Or at least the writers are now back to work. So they're back to writing this. They're story. writing it. <laughs> yeah. SAG is still um, sagging. doing their SAG thing. They're, they're actually, sagging. <laughs> SAG is lagging. <laughs> they're actually boycotting the video game industry now because the voice actors weren't as um, <coughs> were, were, didn't have to be a part of um, the SAG um, strikes if I'm... Um, if I'm remembering the article correctly. Hmm. Like, a lot of... If they did belong to SAG, they had the choice. Like, you can stay with us, but you're not, like, a main on-screen actor, so we're allowing you to work. And a lot of them chose to still work, so I think they are now boycotting the video game industry hmm. because of that. Uh, so SAG is still fighting the SAG battles. And, which is... They're, they're fighting a fight that needs to be fought, so good yeah. for them. Uh, but that just means it's going to be another year and a half before we see any new movies. <laughs> At least major motion pictures. Yeah. yeah, They are allowing the indie films. We are watching... Um, me and Tony are watching the um, indie films that are being submitted to the Sunscreen Film Festival, and there is a lot. 
Yep. I've watched a few junk ones. I've watched some really good ones. So I'm glad that these movies are still being made. But these major motion center blockbuster movies that they've already pushed out a year at this point are probably going to be pushed out a little bit more. <coughs> uh, which is sad. But, like I said, it is a fight worth being fought. Yeah, I was just thinking, maybe the alarms are going off. Maybe God's trying to tell us don't talk about Biddle. Yeah, the maybe. Right now. <laughs> Stop what you're doing uh, right we're now. We're switching topics. This is now a Muppet episode. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the Muppets take Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch that. But, you know, it's funny. So when you mentioned, you know, Constantine Keanu Reeves. So he was also in Devil's Advocate. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, where he basically played the, a re- devil. uh, yeah, the devil's son. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Illegitimate son. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, no, it's pretty legitimate. You find out then, at the end. <laughs> and then even though it's not biblical, but the connection to it is basically like The Matrix... He is the chosen one to bring balance to. Yeah, if that's not an allegory for Jesus. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He basically... And the same and thing with the, <laughs> the lion, witch, and the wardrobe. They're saying that the lion is supposed to be an allegory for Jesus, too. I mean, I think there's some... And even with Bill and Ted's, they're supposed to create the music that's supposed to bring harmony to the universe. So yeah. is what? Keanu Reeves Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's got the long hair now. He's getting it, the beard. He's getting you know, the beard working. getting there. He did um, murder a lot of people in John Wick, though. I think that precludes him from being Jesus. Oh, come on. Yeah. You haven't heard of Sodom and Gomorrah? <laughs> yeah. Fair. But on a f- or the 40-day flood. <laughs> <laughs> well, so for biblical movies, and this is actually close to biblical, is when you mentioned uh, Legion and talking about the angel Michael, you're figuring out who played him and made me laugh a little bit because I'm thinking, well, it wasn't John Travolta who played Michael, the angel, in the movie Michael. In the movie Michael, yeah. yeah. I remember actually, watching that movie. That was a cute movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good movie, yeah. I like that one. It smelled like cookies. It smells like cookies all the time. It smells like cookies all the time, yeah. I just like it in the was... beginning of the movie when he's like, everyone's like doubting <clears throat> that he's an angel. He's like, well, he has the wings. Eh, prosthetics. But when they're getting in the car to go on that road trip, he tells the lead actors, he's like, when I tell you to, you say thank you. And he's, she's like, well, thank you. I'm like, no, 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 not now. Later. When and I it, tell you. Yeah, yeah, And then later in the movie, he's like, this is when you say it. And he's like, oh right. my god. You stop that. As a matter of fact, I am going to go we outside. Really pause this, yeah. yeah. All right, we'll be right back. Hang on a second. All right, we're back from the fire drill. Yes. <laughs> um, it wasn't God it wasn't or Devil cool. telling us not to speak about this stuff, so. Uh, but everybody's safe. Everything's good. It was just a little was mis- slight mis- electrical fire. Although we can't literally say the roof yeah. is on fire. <laughs> yeah, my roof, because it was on the floor above us. <laughs> I mean, technically, with the whole setup, we should be the one causing it, but. Yeah. <clears throat> and we, we, le- and it, we left them on. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, your electrical well, is going that up. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so getting back to I know we were in the middle of I brought up Michael. Yep. Yes, and, and um, I thought like it was really cool stuff. about, like, um, how, um, like, he was trying to prove that he is an angel. Actually, he really didn't care if he believed him or not. And he's like, I'm an angel, believe me or not, whatever. Yeah. But when they were starting off on that road trip, um, he said, you're going to have to say thank you when I say so. She's like, thank you, not now, when I say so. And then it plays back, like, very, like, the last, like, ten minutes of the mm-hmm. movie. It's like Chekhov's gun at that point. Yeah. <laughs> Chekhov's thank, uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I like also how, like, throughout the whole movie, he's, like, talking about all the things that he invented. It's like, you know, I invented standing in line. And, you know, it, it used to be everyone was just huddled around everywhere. Then I said, why don't we form a line? <laughs> <laughs> like, he invented marriage. <laughs> it's like, it's like you know, but people used to walk around. I said, why don't we have a ceremony? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, thanks. The billion dollar marriage industry is all your work, Michael. Thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, we basically just sent that originally just to help that old lady <clears throat> about yeah. the bank. Yeah. <clears throat> and she's like, what did you say? He's like, uh, oh, what was he like, uh, like something merchant or something like, you know, I can't remember what it would be. It's like he walked into the bank and like did this big spiel. She was so excited about it. And then, of course, the, uh, you know, that big storm just knocked the building down. Yeah. All of a sudden, it just, like, crumbles. You don't see, like, a tornado come through. You just see the building just, just collapse. <laughs> collapse, yeah. <clears throat> it's, like, the first and only bank of that town. Yeah. Very small town. Yes. <laughs> but, no, was, uh, I, I enjoyed that movie. It's a fun little yeah. movie, you know. Mm. And then uh, I wonder, I that probably was before he got into Scientology. Might yeah. Because I don't know if he would have done that, which technically is... Is religious. Yeah. We'll say. Yeah, we'll say. I guess we should talk about Battle for <coughs> Earth. <Yeah. laughs> That's when he went into Scientology. <laughs> That's what Scientology is. <laughs> Battlefield Earth. It's Battlefield Earth. So, Michael was a good movie, though. I enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun parts and uh, a lot of good actors and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, that would there's, be. There's been a couple with, you know, um, angels coming down and, you know, just basically 
essentially taking <coughs> that you know human form and making a movie out of mm-hmm. Joe Black. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know if he was an angel. He was just death itself. He was death. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that's that is the yeah. That's Archangel of Death still. Yep. Um, and then you have um, what, City of Angels yep. with uh, uh, Nicholas, Nicholas Cage, Cage, Meg Ryan. He is also one of the one of the angels of death. Oh, what about um? Oh my God, I just went branded on the movie. Uh, the Denzel Washington, the Azazel, uh, Fallen. Fallen. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. I am his own my side. Yes, it is. I know it's not a true movie. It's a made-for-TV um, miniseries. So it's just like a very... Only three episodes, but they're about an hour and a half each. The Stand. Okay. Yeah. You ever, you ever see that? Yeah, um, of course. I don't know. Well, that is true. You've seen it. I was just saying, it's like, I'm the one who should be shocked <laughs> in saying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's true. You've seen it. <laughs> yeah, that, that tracks. Tony's seen it. Have you seen it, Tony? Have you seen it? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. 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 It's not a game with Tony. The answer is yes. <laughs> yes. Didn't like it. Didn't. <laughs> didn't. Hated it. Hated it. I think I, I think I know of a movie that I've seen that you haven't seen. What's that? There's been some out there. Yeah, that's true. There, what is it? rare though? and far and few in between. But, but what is it? This one's called Angels with Dirty Faces. And it has nothing to do with actual angels. Uh, it says porn. I'm not into it's it. Not, yeah. It's like you're not into your weird porn. <laughs> Angels with dirty no, faces. So, <laughs> so you know Come on now. He keeps it's playing a, that mobster movie. And yeah. You keep the change, you filthy animal. Oh, yeah. It was based off that, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah so That's not an actual movie in Home Alone. And the Home Alone movie is not an actual one, but I tracked down it was based off of the movie called Angels with <laughs> Dirty Faces from like 1942. And I watched it. It was bad because it was from the 40s. <laughs> just because from the 40s doesn't make it bad it was also I, I mean it's cliche there was, now there was literally no CGI <laughs> I didn't see Captain America once. I was going to say not <laughs> one Marvel character yeah. in there at all there's no Chris Hemsworth no Chris Evans no Chris Pine none no, of the Chris's none of the Chris's I'm out yeah no it was just it, I say it, back then it was probably a really neat and innovative idea of storytelling but you know I've seen it 300,000 times since then so and basically, this um, mobster goes to jail or prison for the family. And when he gets out, he's like, well, I went to jail for the family. You promised me, I think he says, like, $2,000. Mm. But, I mean, with inflation and all that, it winds up being around $50,000. Like, today. <laughs> with <month>. inflation. <laughs> times Whatever are tough, it's man. Called. Times are tough. These yeah, days. yeah, times are tough. <laughs> um, and then they wouldn't pay him the money, so he just starts, like... Causing trouble for the family until they try and kill him, and then he survives and he gets his money. Yeah, it's payback, but in the forties and black. You owe us money. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you owe us hey. money, all right? Hey, you. You over there? You with the guy with the face? That one owes me money. the thing. I gotta fix your face. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. But yes, angels with dirty faces. So there's some there's some old school ones that actually is literally about the god and the devil, and it was oh god, oh god, book two, and oh god, you devil. And actually had George Burns. I'm not sure if you know who that is. Name sounds familiar. He's an old school. I mean, passed away now many years, but I think he was in in the 80s. He was in his 80s, <clears throat> 80s and 90s. But uh, no, he was an old school. Did stuff like a lot of uh, uh, was that Vanderbilt or Vanderbilt act? It's like an old school act where you know people got their starts and stuff doing comedy. Oh yeah 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 yeah. But uh, oh god, you devil! George Burns plays both the god and the devil. It's about mm-hmm. his first is the devil and this guy. He's a a piano player and he's just not making it like he would and he basically says he would give anything to you know be famous or actually to make it as a piano player so George Burns shows up as the devil mm-hmm. and he's like oh you know basically talks about him he's like yeah I'd sell my soul if I could get a record deal and he does literally so the whole thing is what he does is he actually doesn't get the record deal <clears throat> he ends up taking over somebody else's life Oh. <clears throat> so he's still him, but he looks like this other guy. <clears throat> and the other guy, the deal was, though, is that the other guy, the loophole to what he didn't tell him is, yeah, he was going to get his record deal and become famous and, you know, become a big musician, but the other guy was going to overdose on drugs or something at a certain mm-hmm. point. Oh. And it was going to be not that long after. So when he was a kid, <clears throat> his father, he was real sick when he was a kid, and his father prayed that, you know, for God to look over after him. Mm-hmm. So then, God meets the devil. It's the same. George Burns plays both parts. Yeah. So he meets the devil, and he basically plays uh, poker to win his soul back. Oh, okay. And so, because he's basically looking out for him. 
And then, you know, he ends up having the life that he wants in the end. You know, it goes back to normal, but he ends up having a decent life. And he's got a kid uh, later on, a daughter. And she's got the same type of fever. Mm. And he goes in, he starts talking to the God. And then, yeah, it's a cute movie. Mm. But there was a series of movies. I think it was like, Oh God, Oh God, Book 2, and Oh God, You Devil. But Oh God, You Devil was the one that I remember seeing when I was a okay. kid. <clears throat> it's good. And it's good and evil. It's good and evil. Yeah. Well, you have uh, you have little Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I like I like the opening scene of little Nikki where it's it's Dan Marino sitting there. He's like, I'm sorry, Dan. You're just too good a guy. He's like, Come on, man. I'm just asking for one Super Bowl. <laughs> and he walks away. He's like, I, I'm a Jets fan. I couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He walks away. He's like, I'm gonna I'll go on TV and win myself an Emmy. He's like, There you go, buddy. Yeah. He was on CBS. For, yeah, he was on yeah. CBS for like two seasons. Like, now he's the quarterback. Like, the uh, quarterback consulting coach for yeah. the Dolphins. Yeah. I'm sure he's still making like $500,000 oh. a, a practice session he's, or something. Wasn't it Alicia Silverstone that played his mom, that played the angel? Uh, no, no, oh, that, that was, was um, uh, Reese Witherspoon. Uh, Reese yeah. Witherspoon, okay, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't forget how how I know you get crazy after a few <laughs> daiquiris. Yeah, daiquiri. You know, it might have been daiquiris. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's such daiquiris. an old yeah. Such a perv. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And they have chubs in there. Yeah. Come on, ladies. It's all in the hips. Yeah. <laughs> I just, at the end of the movie, they're both making googly eyes at each other. Like, I think the little Nicky's about to have a brother. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the fact that Rod, uh, Roddy Dangerfield is the grandfather. <laughs> I tell you, even at Hill, I get no respect. <laughs> I like when Hitler comes in dressed in like the French maid outfit. He's oh, yeah. like, "Come on, pick out the pineapple." And he picks up this like little tiny. He's like, "No." And then he picks up this the like giant one. Yeah. The yeah. <laughs> 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 He's like, "Hey, uh, don't forget, sir. At ten thirty, you're shoving a pineapple in Hitler's ass." <laughs> so you got funny ones, and uh... <clears throat> well, another classic funny one is Bezazzled. Yes, yeah, uh, that... with Elizabeth Hurley and yep. Brendan Fraser. Um, if you haven't seen that movie, um, Brendan Fraser tries to make a deal with the devil to win over the affection of a girl that you know he's in love with, and he keeps trying. He's like, "All right, this time, let make me rich and you know affluent, and then that one, you know, monk, um, the the wishmaster twist is you know you're it's, gay." It's it, actually a pretty you know pretty good accurate dating uh, scene you know for 2023. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I want the sensitive guy, and then she goes after the guys that don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, we're talking of personal experience. Shut up! <laughs> but um, <laughs> he really went from the heart on that one. <laughs> well, he gets like ten wishes, and every one of them there's like a monkey's paw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she messes him up each time. It's, yeah. It's, it's, what was it? Uh, oh yeah, he wants to be the basketball player. He's like, yeah, you gave me a little itty bitty tiny wiki. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I just like well, he, at the end, he actually gets out of his devil contract because um. He didn't read the fine print because no one does. But he uses his last wish. He's like, "Okay, I just wish that Allison has like a really great life." And she just goes, "Oh, fine," and then, <laughs> and then shuts everything down. It's like you don't. No one reads the fine print. But if you do a pure thing of selfless acts of redemption, I think yeah, that's the like cause. A, a true selfless act. I have to let you out of the contract, yeah. and that was so you're free to go. That's and always then, the clause. That's always the clause. Yeah. <laughs> even, but, I think it's even in the Santa Claus. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, and then, like, immediately afterwards, he just does what he should have done before making trying to make a deal with the devil. And she's like, hey, do you want to go grab a cup of coffee? And, and she's she, like, ew, no, gross. Yeah, I can't remember <laughs> if she turns him down or not. She does. Yeah. It, but he ends up meeting, like, a girl who looks just like her that moves into his apartment building. Oh. That's the, the gotcha. catch at the end. See, you know why I asked you out? Because you looked like a girl that turned me down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> And that's the story. And yeah. that's it. We're... And then she immediately dumps him. Yeah. And, now he, and then he's calling up Elizabeth Hurley again. <laughs> so now, even though, in this one that I was going to mention, even though there really is no God or good aspect in it, stay tuned is technically. Oh, yeah. Because made... Jeffrey Jones is basically the devil, devil. Yeah. And that's how he gets people's souls. It's like, you know, he signs off on their new entertainment system. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh... <clears throat> What the, what's his name is the only one to actually make it through the John, entire yeah, yeah. John Ritter he's the only one to actually make it all the way through and then his like second command uh, he becomes um, the new devil because he has yeah, the, the remote guy. Yeah. yeah he has the remote that comes right out of the sleeve yeah just comes spinning out <laughs> is that how click works yes. basically <laughs> it's like another one yeah all these damn TV type movies <laughs> God versus devil yeah good versus evil in a world <laughs> in a in world, world. <laughs> in <laughs> our world, <laughs> just start off every movie in a world. 
Well, I'm trying to think. There's, I mean, there is a lot of them out there. I'm just oh, trying yeah. to now. Well, there's you've got the little... whole Angels and Demons series with you know, um, Angels and Demons, yeah. Dante's Peak, or Inferno, <laughs> um, and. Um, Da well, uh, the Da Vinci Code, the first one. Yeah. Yeah, Dante's Peak. Peak. Dante's Peak, yeah. yeah. The, you know, the one on the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> the Da Vinci Code is... That is a documentary. <laughs> uh, even though the other two do revolve around Catholicism and <laughs> the Catholic Church, the first one is the only one that's really like... The girl that um, Tom Hanks is helping, she is actually... Um, once again, she shares DNA with Jesus Christ because um, Jesus apparently made it with Mary Magdalene and she is part of that lineage. Well, so, of course he did. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't? She was no whore. <laughs> well, it's like when they brought up in Dogma when Chris Rock was telling him, he's like, I'm not talking about, you know, it's like, you know, Mary was a virgin. He's like, I'm talking about brothers and sisters. Yeah. yeah. And it's it like, true that Mary not known to, to touch a man. Yeah, he's like, like but to, to think, think that they've been married for over 20 years and never got down. <laughs> that's just plain uh, gullibility. <laughs> Um, so that was a division. But um, so in- have you seen the Instagram reels? Like, it's the guy, he, 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 he takes a pie and he puts it down in front of his wife. And he's like, here you go. She's like, what's this? Fresh baked pie. He's I've like, seen he's that like, movie. He's like, what do you, well, how, how, what do you mean fresh baked? We don't have an oven. He goes, God made it. She goes, ah. He said, you see how weird that sounds, Mary? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to hell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we are. <laughs> he just bursts in flames. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were like miming shooting him in the head. Like, oh, you're going to hell and I'm putting no, you there. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm right Loki. Now. <laughs> I'm Loki. <laughs> I bring down the wrath. But um, the second one, Angel of the Demons, it wasn't like, it wasn't, once again, it did revolve around Catholicism and the choosing of a new pope, but it was just E. McGregor being like a sociopathic dick. Well, I mean, it also had like the thing of the church and the Illuminati, like the society that was in the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it had nothing to do with like a descendant of right. Christ yeah, or no, anything no, like that. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going You're going to hell. Why are you I'm going. Cover Gavin and bees. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gavin. <laughs> Sorry, Gavin. <laughs> 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 you know, if I die, I'll go right back to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do something evil. <laughs> Cover Rickler and bees. <laughs> Sorry, Henry. <laughs> Get in the flash. <laughs> Get in the flash. You take the meat and it slides down your throat hole. And then the, the other ones start eating the buddy. Yeah. Not you. Not you. <laughs> Popeye's chicken is fucking awesome. <laughs> it's true. And one of them explodes. Yeah. It's not true. I just like um, the Dante guy. He's like, hey, what's the devil trying to say in this one? And he's like, uh, that's Ozzy's pretty it's, straight power. Yeah. And then I get, Chicago. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Chicago. He played it backwards. Yeah. And David Cross is like, oh, this is my favorite one. Like, you will subscribe to the devil and you will kill all your family. <laughs> what the what fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Chicago's fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you get your weed, Dick Dickie? <laughs> From you, Dante. <laughs> yeah, cool it over there, Liberace. <laughs> <laughs> Liberace. <laughs> well, it's just a couple of fans of Nicky's and the work his dad does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> I just like at the end of the movie they go to hell and they're just <clears throat> rocking out in like Nikki's old room. Yeah, and, like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> seemed pretty cool down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're part of the family. I'm right. Saying, Hitler yeah. wasn't having a good time. <clears throat> no, Hitler did not have a good time. Which is good. No. <laughs> Who's the guy at the very beginning that um ends up getting uh like humped by the bird or something? Oh, I know who you're talking uh, about. I can't remember. He's in a bunch of like nineties movies too. He's one of those guys. <laughs> I I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I have it, to because he dies sitting on the edge of uh, peeping, you know, peeping Tom into that lady. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't remember who you're talking about. I just can't <laughs> Tom, think of who it is. <laughs> well, Tommy Junior. Hey, you need to leave the room so Mommy can get undressed. <laughs> <laughs> what <A> creeper? <laughs> <clears throat> Nothing but a creeper. <clears throat> but yes, uh, what, what? John Lovitz. Oh yeah, John, John Lovitz. Lovitz. Yeah. <clears throat> he looks yes. like he could be a minion. <laughs> yes. Yeah, very much so. And a sexy one. <laughs> what? Halloween's coming up. I want to see the sexy what? minion Wait, what come did, up. Did I just hear that? I, right? Yes. I, did you say it a sexy one? Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> you both are going to hell. You go to hell and you die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope they die. I hope they burn to hell. <laughs> so what are some other religious movies? I'm just, I'm trying to, like, I've, I've got some... Off the top of my head, but they're like on the tip of my tongue. I'm just trying to think of what they are. Uh, so, well, there's one. Uh, so, Joan of Arc. Um, yeah. There's one 
the Passion one, of the Christ. Oh, yeah, definitely Passion I of the mean, Christ. Okay, if that's not biblical, I've never, I don't know what it is. I've never <laughs> yeah. seen it. You didn't have the Passion? <laughs> I did not. So, um, Joan of Arc has, uh, you know, obviously she oh, got God, she got burned at the stake for being, you know, a traitor to France hmm. or whatever, but there's a, um, a scene in there with the one that Milja Jovovich does where she's talking like... Uh, I think you and I had the same reaction when we thought of movies. If we play it back, because I just thought of two that we need. To talk I just thought of two. Did we think of the same movies? I don't know. Let's let me mm-hmm. finish talking. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, folks. We're just like down down. So you get the. Um, and so uh, she's having a conversation <clears throat> with the devil. How everything, you know, she uh, she's locked away in a cell, and the devil's trying to basically reverse everything that she, you know, is saying that she got defined by God. Mm. It's like, oh, there was a sword in the field. She goes, oh, the sword in the field. And so it like, there could have been millions of ways that sword wound up in that field that you found. And so it cuts back. It's like two guys, two knights fighting. I, I, oh, it just falls off of a horse. And then he's like, but you chose. And then it cuts to, oh, 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 and like a sword just gets placed in the field. <laughs> so he's basically, you know, tempting her and going back on her, like trying to make her doubt herself of everything that she's done. Nice. I just thought of two more, too. Go ahead. So I have four total. Oh, dear Lord. So, so you could... the two that I thought of, they're comedies, obviously, yeah. the, the Bruce and Evan all my Yes, so, yes. so those were the first two I thought of. <clears throat> yep. I just I was like, oh, that's what I'm thinking of. I'm like, you know, you got Brucey and you <laughs> I got mean, Evan. You know, you got Morgan Freeman, who I obviously think is the voice of God anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure Hollywood does, too. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> One random act of kindness. Yeah. yeah. Arc. I, I remember Bruce Almighty was so funny when I first saw it. Um, and um, I was living in Clearwater at the time, and it was filmed a little bit in Clearwater. So there's a scene where Bruce gets a phone number to call, and it actually is a 727. Yeah. It was a working phone number. Yeah. Like somebody had to change their number because they were constantly getting phone calls from people who were seeing this movie. Uh, but in the DVD release, they changed it to 727555. Yeah. But in the theatrical release, it was an actual phone number. That worked in Clearwater, Florida. It, somebody was pointing out there's a fan thing out there about in Bruce, only in Bruce Almighty, that they actually broke a rule that was the one rule he wasn't supposed to break. And that was, he said, when he gave him his power, he's like, you can't interfere with people's free will. Yeah, yeah. He even when, tried to with Jennifer Anderson and it didn't work. No, but when he makes uh, Evan talk oh, yeah. on camera, la, 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 la. Yeah, he's messing with his free will to be able to just speak normally. Uh, yeah. So technically, that was a lawbreaker. Yeah. He should have had his powers relinquished right then and there. Shouldn't have worked because it didn't work. He <coughs> tried to do it with Jennifer mm-hmm. Aniston. Yeah, hmm. but it did work, and it was one of the funniest scenes of the movie. Yeah, <laughs> 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 what was the other two you were thinking of? Uh, Indiana Jones uh, in the Last Crusade, and Indiana Jones and the first one, Arkham Raiders Cal- of the Lost Raiders, Raiders of the, of the Lost, Lost Ark. Ark. <laughs> Indiana Jones in the first one. Indiana, Indiana Jones, Jones, Jones number in one and one. three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in the first one, obviously, they find the Ark of the Covenant, which supposedly holds the uh, remains of Jesus. And in the third one, they have to find the um, Golden Goblet of Holiness. What's it called? Not the Golden Goblet of Fire. <laughs> the Golden Goblet of Holiness? The Golden Goblet of Holiness. The Holy Grail, Thank you, you silly ass. <laughs> the Holy Grail. It's the Goblet of Fire. <laughs> we talked about that last week. Ah, uh, yes, we did. Or two weeks ago by the time this episode goes out. <laughs> I have to take a moment. Yeah. <laughs> I, still I think don't of, know what else to say. <laughs> I still think <clears throat> David, This is sober, Patrick. This is years back of David Spade on Talk Soup when he was doing it, and Gwyneth Paltrow had just had her baby. <laughs> so uh, Gwyneth Paltrow and Baby are doing fine. Uh, baby Moses are doing fine, except for her burning bush. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I'm trying. There's there's a lot of good and evil movies out there, like God and Devil type movies. Uh, he was hypnotizing I mean, them. I'm sorry. I was thinking of Shallow Hal. I was like, did he make a deal with the devil? Did he? No, he was just hypnotized. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's so many out there. I just, I, I've got some on the tip of my... I'm just trying to th- I think th- of them. I like can off- think of like four Twilight episodes right now. The Twilight Zone episodes. Oh, well, yeah. But. Well, we have... Uh, you have Angels in the Outfield. Yeah. yeah. Joseph Gordon-Levitt's one of his early roles. He was a kid. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Uh, Danny Glover. He's the he's the coach. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I remember watching that movie oh. as a kid. It was all right. One, you probably... You, neither one of you have probably seen this one. My, uh, it's called The Heavenly Kid. 
<clears throat> 80s movie. That is it's also movie. an 80s video game. Well, this one's a better 80s movie. It's a fairly bad 80s video game. No, it's a good 80s movie. <laughs> the so. Heavenly Kid, I forgot about that one. That was actually when... Um, it's it's originally back in the 50s, and it's this guy, and he's dating this girl. They're in high school, and he's a he races cars, so he gets, you know, not bullied into, but he gets challenged to race cars, and they're racing near a cliff. And it's a game of chicken, like basically mm-hmm. whoever stops first. Mm-hmm. And he's going to try to stop, and something happens where he either goes to jump out of the car or brake, and the brakes aren't working. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and he ends up going over the cliff and dying. And then he gets able to go back down to heaven because his old girlfriend, or girl then now she's grown up and has a kid... And he's having trouble in high school. He's more like a nerdy type kid, whereas the other guy was like a kind of like a Fonzie mm-hmm. type. And so he's sent back down to heaven because there's something about like he can't fully get into heaven until he does like good deeds or mm-hmm. finishes up all his deeds. So his last thing that or his thing, the way to get in is to go down and help this kid. But he doesn't realize originally who the kid is, mm-hmm. and it's actually his his girlfriends that who went on and married and. Had this kid, so he's helping him, and kind of similar thing happens at the very end. He gets challenged to a race, and as you can tell, it's things turn out though in the end for him. Um, what's that movie with Johnny Depp uh, where he's trying to get through the gates of hell? It's like the oh, Ninth Gate or uh, something? Uh, yeah, the Ninth Gate. Ninth Gate, okay. Mm-hmm. Where he's looking, he finds all yeah. the books and everything. Every book has. So a, there's like this I one guy. I, who, I never saw it because the trailer scared me. But oh, it was it was very it, it wasn't like it was very suspenseful. It wasn't. <coughs> There was no like you know ghost goblins or anything like that except for the one woman who you end up at the very end you know find out that she was actually the devil. Yeah, they were like banging out and yeah. like with this fucking burning shit around. Yeah, them, exactly. so. yeah, everything's burning around them. You know what? We gotta have sex. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, why not? To be honest, that's how I want to go out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's like this dude wrote a or this guy wrote a book off of it was like. You know something uh, he was pres- or had a meeting with the devil or whatever, and in in each book are like these uh, these gates that are supposed to open up the doorway for you to be able to go to hell. I don't know why anyone would want to, but yeah, in each one of them, so there are certain symbols or certain sections or passages that are true in and each fake. one, and then so each one like has the same stuff, but not all of them are the original. So you have to have all of the yeah. original. Books. And yeah, he basically put series. it in three different copies. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah uh, it's good stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> and those books actually exist. I mean, it's the the story of that is actually true. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, Ninth Gate. There was a movie that I've seen. I can never remember the name of. That every time I describe it to you, Tony, you you pull the name out of your magic movie hat. <laughs> Uh, it's basically about this kid who accidentally opens up a portal to hell, and to close it at the end, he carves a symbol into his hand, and oh, there's an eyeball that pops up in the middle of his hand, and he has to stab it with a mm. piece of broken glass, because you know, you know, he opened the you know hell portal. Isn't that just called the gate? Maybe, I'm asking. Is it in the backyard? Like, yeah, yeah. He opens up the portal in the backyard, and there's like all these minion things that yeah, come yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. I believe like, that's his... just called the gate. Oh, okay, and then like his. Like, <coughs> Hell is coming to Earth, so he's turning into a demon himself. Like, a little eyeball pops yeah. up in his palm, and he stabs it with a piece of broken glass. Yeah. The kid's like 10. Yeah. <laughs> and he's just like... Just Time to grow up and be a man. Why couldn't yeah. Bruce Campbell do that when he had one on his shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look it up. I think, I think it's just called The Gate. The Gate. Um, I did want to ask and see if you guys would consider um, this movie, but The Frighteners. It has to do with ghosts, but one of them's really evil. Is that the, I wouldn't really that's say, the one with Michael yeah, uh, J. Like Michael J. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, it's more ghosts. I mean, there really isn't a, a touch like, on like I'd say that's more hell. afterlife. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, it is Gate because I can, that's the kid. Yep. Okay. You're right. It is the Gate. Now, however, <laughs> uh, End of Days with Arnold Schwarzenegger, which was kind of a decent movie. Mm-hmm. Um, nobody, nobody saw that? Patrick? Oh, I've no. seen End of Days. Well, I figured you oh. had. <laughs> well, it's a given when we bring up a movie that you've seen it. No, I have not. At, uh, that'd be a that'd be a good one for you to watch. So mm-hmm. it's it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. He essentially has to um, keep the devil from having sex with this random girl mm-hmm. uh, because he basically has to have sex with her, and then the child that is born would be the essentially the Antichrist. Why does the devil always seems to have like the most fun 
Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like objectives. Oh, I gotta go bang somebody now and make a kid. Uh, <laughs> I wa- God, I want you to go find the Holy Grail. Oh, that's a good idea. Of course it's a good idea. I thought of it. It's like the Golden Goblet thing. Yeah. The, the Golden Goblet the of God. Holiness. <laughs> golden Goblet of Holiness. I'm going to make a movie about that. Patrick, Patrick Wall and the Golden Goblet of Holiness. Well, so that was also like the... That was kind of like an end of... Um, I mean, as it's the end of days, but it was like thinking that's the end of time too because they were doing it. Uh, it was supposed to be done in the year 2000. Yeah, doing it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It was nineteen. It's Christmas Eve, nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. So the New Year, they were yep. supposed to do it, you know, on New Year's. It's always on New Year's that everybody's supposed to do. I mean, Vigo was supposed to inhabit the I baby know, on New yeah. Year's. One Vigo. is with New Year's, you know. It's like fresh New Year. Here's Vigo. <coughs> you are like flies to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm covers in the goo. Yeah. I I, I love, love you too. too. I love you. <laughs> How how's the baby? Is, hey, is it, oh, 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 oh. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 cameras in here. Cameras. Yeah, he was awesome. <laughs> I love that guy. Um, <laughs> He's like been in almost nothing, but I love the guy. <laughs> <laughs> there's, um, there's a movie that when we first started this podcast, I watched as part of my homework, mm-hmm. but that you guys talked about constantly that I felt just odd, like I had to watch this movie. And I remember when in the episode of Patrick did his homework, I get through all these movies that I watched in the last five seconds. Like, oh, by the way, I've seen this movie and you guys just like lose your shit. He was like, why didn't we talk about it? This is the end. <laughs> yes. That's that was really... three years ago. So. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can barely remember what happened yesterday. So. Yeah, that, that tracks. <laughs> There's a movie that you guys told me I should watch. Oh, and I actually that watched it. Narrows the shit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's really small. <laughs> oh, wait, I had one. Um, Hang on a second. Uh, fuck, I just had it, too. Give me a second. Hang on. Stand by, people. Can Give I me a go moment. while you're thinking? Sure, but as soon as I know it, I've got to yell it out. So don't get into any serious kind of conversation. Okay, but it's Drive Angry with Nicolas Cage. Uh huh. <laughs> Have you ever seen that movie? Um. So basically, Nicolas Cage escapes out of hell because a cult is about. Oh, Time to... Bandits. Ta- Sorry. No. Time Sorry. Bandits. Yeah, Time Bandits. Okay. I had to get it out there. Hang yep. on. Well, you can finish yep. your thing, and I'll get back to so Time Bandits. So Nicolas Cage's daughter is about to <clears throat> end. Um, his granddaughter about to be sacrificed to this cult. So he escapes hell to go stop that from happening. And then, you know, the hell sends, um, you know, a retriever to come get him and bring his ass back to hell. And obviously, you know, he drives, he kills a lot of people, and he goes into the final battle, and he gets shot by the bad guy like 30 times, and then he picks up the devil gun and shoots the guy, and then he, like, passes, you know, he dies right there, and he gives the baby to, you know, his daughter, and be like, take care of her. It sounds like Ghost Rider. Yeah, (laughs) but the very next scene is, like, there's one thing you can't do to a dead guy is kill him, because then he gets back up and he drinks a beer out of the cult leader's skull, and then they drive back to hell, and he's telling, like, the retriever guy, he's like, tell your boss, I'll get out whenever I want, just don't put me back in that damn hole again. And then it like sets up like once again it sets up the possibility of another you know a sequel, but you know it was kind of a shit movie, so they're not going to make a you know, second shit one. Yeah. We don't want two shit movies on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't have two shit movies. One shit movie or not, we don't need two shit movies. <laughs> sometimes maybe good, sometimes about, maybe shit. <laughs> the next two I want to talk about one is shit. One is actually a little bit better than the other one. The sequel is actually better in my opinion than the first one. Well, go ahead. But, Let's, yeah. let's no, no, no. Oh, I, right. I yeah, just yeah. had to spit out Time Bandits. That's all I had uh, well, to say. What is I've about talked, Time Bandits? I've talked about it before, though. It's about it's a bunch of midgets, but they work for God. Call them little people. They work for God. Yeah, little midgets, little people, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Height challenge. I don't care. Vertically challenge. Um, people. They're hey. just shorter than me. People. Which is saying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um you go to hell. Anyway, and so they basically, God has this map of the entire universe and space and time and so they steal it because they're supposed to find all the riches and everything in the world so they steal it from god and they're traveling all through all these portals and stuff it's a it's an older movie it's like in 70s 80s uh but sean connery's in it <clears throat> and he's just in a small part but like they end up like in medieval time in the future and stuff but then they're being chased by also the devil so the devil's trying to get to him as well as god's trying to get to him but when it breaks down simply it's like God's almost like just this guy in like a suit and everything's run like a business. And they end up bringing this kid. They crossed over into this kid's bedroom when they went through one of the portals. So he ends up on the adventure with them and stuff. And then they have to battle the devil because the devil's trying to get the map. But God's trying to get the map back because he's following through with them. And it's a good movie. It's called Time Bandits. 
Check it out. Time Bandits. <clears throat> movie. Nice. Time Bandits. Time Bandits. Time Cop. <laughs> Not Time Cop. No. <laughs> Not this time. Uh, but there are two movies that I thought of were R.I.P. and uh, R.I.P.D. and R.I.P.D. Two. Okay. So the first one. Um, so if you haven't seen it, um, what's it? Ryan Reynolds um, is a cop gets killed and then before he goes to heaven he has to become a heaven cop and he has to track down all the people who didn't go up to heaven or back to hell and they just mm. stayed on earth and turned into you know gross monsters and um so he just goes around killing gross monsters with um the dude um, the dude <laughs> what jeff daniels <laughs> wow jeff bridges jeff bridges, bridges by the way <laughs> um just... <laughs> kill it lebowski yeah. hey you know jeff the daniels. dude <laughs> Jeff Daniels. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. It's Jeff, maybe I'm Bridges. Thinking of, I'm thinking about Jack Daniels because I've been sober for too long. <laughs> it's um, been 12 hours. Yeah. <sighs> what time is it? Yeah. It's been a whole eight hours since that had killed me a man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was going through Netflix and there is a sequel, R.A.P.D. 2. Yeah. That one stars Jeffrey Donovan, who mm. I'm a big fan of from... Um, uh, the show on USA Network that I'm trying to hire. My name is Michael Burn Notice. <laughs> Took me a minute to get there, but I got there. <laughs> I'm going to have an aneurysm for this thing. <laughs> uh, but that one actually is a prequel to the first one. So Jeffrey Donovan plays Roy. And you okay. figure out how he gets into the RIPD. And I think that one, and his partner is Joan of Arc. So I think it's a lot better movie than the first one. Oh, in my opinion. Of, we should make a game out of this for the viewers. Like, can you follow the path of our thought processes <laughs> and where this thing's going? <laughs> it's, just, it's just Charlie Day with the, <laughs> with the red strings. I on am the Michael Burn Notice. <laughs> Michael Burn Notice. <laughs> Time bandits. <laughs> <laughs> we only have about uh, about four or five minutes left oh, before okay. we have to wrap up. But um, so yeah, there is a lot of. A lot of stuff. I'm sure there's plenty that we've missed. Oh, you know one thing? We didn't think All Dogs Go to Heaven. All Dogs Go to Heaven, oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. I forgot about that one. Uh, oh, now all, I'm sad. As well as the uh, the Green Mile. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Basically anything involving Stephen King. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. He so, just created his own universe. Yeah, yeah of, the Stephen uh, King connected yeah. universe. Yeah. <laughs> you want a balloon? <laughs> 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 Hiya, Georgie. <laughs> so we all know I haven't seen the new movies of it, but I did see the original miniseries. And that's way creepier. I don't care what anybody says. The eyeball in the um, the fortune cookie really freaked me out as a kid. Not gonna lie. Beep, beep, Richie! <laughs> um, so, yeah. And, oh, real quick, so I want to tell you guys, too, so for the viewers know, so... Um, when Haley was on with us, yeah, she had, really ago. enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. Had a lot of fun, as, as she always has. Uh, she does want to talk Halloween stuff, though. She wants to join the Halloween yeah. episode. All right. So I told her I'd let you guys know. This Bye. way, in case she watches this episode, she knows I told you. Yeah, yeah. okay. All right. <laughs> this is proof. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'll talk it's, to the guys. On, my people call their people. It's on the line. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's I on think the at this point, we should just start a group chat with her in it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's not creepy. I mean, it, it would be kind of fun because we can now that we can do all the Zoom stuff. Like, if even Doug doesn't even have to be here, yeah, unless he wants to come. I mean, he likes being in, but we could start getting these guys uh, all on Zoom and be like, "Yeah, Doug, you don't have to be here. <laughs> no, you should be here. I'm saying if you got busy or you need to stay home, Frank you don't want to make no. the drive. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were Frank. <clears throat> that's what I. Yeah, Frank says no. Oh. Ooh. But no, so we do have only a couple minutes left, so we do have to wrap this up. But good choice on the biblical and good, yeah, good yeah. And evil, God and devil stuff. Like when um, you pitched it yesterday, I was like, I don't know if this is going to be like the deep as well we've ever delved into. Yeah. And the moment we started talking, like it, neurons just started like this movie, this movie, this, this movie, this one, this one. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like um, Jerry Seinfeld and the B movie. Like this time, this time, this yeah, time, this yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so if we did miss something, as always, sure let us did. know. And we'll be happy to bring it up and talk about it and apologize for our ignorance. I apologize for nothing. Yeah, well, I will apologize for his ignorance. Said the guy who, <laughs> who called the Holy Grail the golden <clears throat> goblet of holiness. Yes. Uh, I so, stand by that. <laughs> but we do have to I'm head not off. not standing uh, next to you <clears throat> during any lightning storm. <laughs> yeah. but we it's do have pretty cloudy outside. <laughs> Um, we do have to head out though but before yes. we go uh, make remember... sure to like subscribe um, follow us we still haven't gotten an email and I'm looking forward to reading those emails so send them in 
Um, but yeah, uh, follow us wherever you can. We're on all the social medias, but mainly Spotify and YouTube. Like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification so you know when a new episode goes out. Bing! Yes, <laughs> indeed. Go. And also remember, we will be on Elevation Movies coming next year. Uh, they're just wrapping everything up. That's a streaming service there. Uh, we'll be coming up there. You can also catch us on WDBFRadio.com or WDBFRadio.fm on every Sunday from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. But as usual, every Wednesday is a brand new episode here on all our other platforms. So until then, for Movie Talks and Chill, we're your hosts. I'm Tony Serrato. I'm Gavin Butts. Patrick Wall. All right, guys. Take care. Smash that like button. <laughs>